Hi everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be making baby onesie cards. Now these have been around for a long time. They're all over Pinterest. Um, they fit perfectly in an A2 envelope as I'm showing you here. Um, there's many ways to make these and we used to make them with punches but I needed a baby card so I decided I would go ahead and show you how to make one in case you had never seen this before. Okay, so this is a piece of mint macaron. It's 11 by four and a quarter and I've scored it at five and a half. I'm going to put it in my paper trimmer with the folded side at the top. I'm going to slide that to one and a half inches. And then I'm gonna take my cutting blade and I'm gonna cut down to three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna flip it over and repeat the process. One and a half inches down to three and a quarter, or three quarters, excuse me. All the measurements and circles and all that will be on my, on my blog. So now you can see we have our little sleeves. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to measure and determine where we're going to put the leg holes. So we're gonna go in one and a half inches and then go from the bottom up to one and a half inches. We're going to do this on both sides. And if it helps to take your die and go ahead and draw around that so that you can see that easier, which is what I decided to do, um, you can do that. If not, you can eyeball it, it's up to you. And so now I have perfect placement for the leg holes. And I'm just gonna run this through the Big Shot. I am using my magnetic platform. So I've done that to both sides. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the neck part. And you just kinda eyeball this a little bit so you can see where the sleeves are. So looks like a quarter to maybe a third of where you wanna put that down. And again, just run that through the big shot. Okay, now you can cut this straight up. If you can draw, if you can cut a straight line, I myself cannot. So I'm taking the bottom cut of the sleeve down to the point of where the leg starts. So, I'm gonna do this on both sides. Right from the bottom of that sleeve down to the very point of the leg hole. And then I'm just gonna cut straight up that line that I drew right up to the line where the sleeve is cut. And you'll see, perfect. Okay, so we did that for both sides. Now we have our little lace that we're gonna put. We need to make two of these. One of them is for both legs and one of them is for the collar. I'll show you how to do that. It's easy. I'm going to use a piece of Calypso coral and I am bringing in my scallop circle die. And again, the circles will be on my blog the sizes of them. And then you just nest that in there, run it through the big shot, and when it comes out, you have the perfect, it's perfectly round. Okay, I've gone ahead and stamped the bunny on one of the stitched circles, and then I've cut a layer of Calypso coral behind it with the I don't think it's the smallest, but the next smallest size um, scallop die. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our lace onto our legs. I've got a couple pencil marks here I'm just trying to erase. So I'm taking my little bottle of glue here. This is Tombow multi-adhesive glue that I just have in a little tiny quill tip bottle. I'm just sort of putting dots down. This glue does dry quickly, but it gives you time for a little wiggle room. 
So you can get that on there just as straight as you can. Then you're going to flip it over and just cut off the excess. Just like that. Now we have our cute lace leg. And we're just going to go ahead and repeat that for the next leg. Okay, so now we're going to do our neck. Same thing, we're going to come along and add a few dots of adhesive. And then we're going to pl place our second ring around the neck. and flip that over and cut off the excess just like we did on the legs. And now we have all of our lace on there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to take the bunny and I'm going to give him a little color. I'm using the light Calypso Coral um, Stampin' Blend and I'm just going to color in his ears, the inside of his ears, and I'm going to color his bow. just to give him a little color. He's a white bunny. Okay, now I'm gonna just take some snail adhesive and adhere these two pieces together. Oops, it tried to run away on me. <laughs> I have it back now. Okay. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals. You don't need to add this many dimensionals. I just am a dimensional freak, so I always put tons on there. I'm sure two would be plenty. And then I'm just adhering this to the center underneath the collar. And there's our little card. Isn't that cute? You can just make your sentiment or write what you want on the inside. So there we have those. And that wasn't that hard to make. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging with me. Happy crafting.